Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to talk about Stephanie Meyer's The Chemist, um, which is a book I read at the beginning of the month. This is going to be uh, spoiler free. I don't really give any, any spoilers in my reviews because I would spoil it. If I'm going to give you a spoiler I'll put it at the end but I will warn you. So The Chemist basically tells the story of this girl who used to work for the government. She's a scientist, hence the title The Chemist. And her and her lab partner over, uh, are thought to have overheard something or to learn something they shouldn't or they're not supposed to know and that someone in government doesn't want them to know and so they try and kill her and they do succeed in killing her lab partner. Now her lab partner had uh, and mentor had advised her that this might happen so she'd been putting money away in, in various accounts to, so that she could just disappear one day and Luckily, she isn't in the room when the assassination attempt happens, so she gets away and she goes on the run. And it's something like three years later and she's had, or so many years later, and there's been several attempts on her life since then. They track her down, try and kill her, but she's been taking them out one by one. Now, in this, the beginning of this book, she gets a message, an email from um, one of the bosses for whom she used to work and um, saying that they need her help for one last case after that she'll be free. So she does go along um, in order to try and find out what's going on and she's told that there is this young man who is going to um, commit a terrorist attack on American soil. It, I think it's a... I can't think of what it's called. Never mind. Um, so they want her to bring him in and use her techniques to get the truth out of him because what she has been developing or what she developed was ways of making people talk without leaving bruises and marks on them um so sort of torture without making people bleed or bruise or burning them um and you know basically breaking them without actually having to physically physically hurt them but mentally it probably really does so she meets this guy and his name's Daniel and he turns out to be a teacher and it's not all what they seem because it turns out that he has a twin who used to work for the CIA but he thought his brother had died in prison. It's a bit complicated but it all makes sense and nobody is going to take it. There is no terrorist attack on America's so law. This is a plan to get her and Daniel's brother if possible. And it's the story of how they um, find out what it was that they weren't supposed to know and how they survive, hopefully. Um, so yeah, now I have never read anything by Stephanie Meyer up until this point. I have not read the Twilight series. Um, I did see the one film, the first film, but I've never read the books. I haven't read The Host, which is her first thriller, adult thriller. I might actually pick that up. I read this um, the Friday I started getting ill. And I sat in bed and I read it from cover to cover and we're talking 500 odd pages. It was that good. It gripped me from beginning to end. I wanted to know what was going to happen all of the time. So it was absolutely fan-bloody-tastic. I really, really enjoyed um, Maya's writing style. Her descriptions were very, very good. Her characters came to life. The plot was believable. Why wouldn't the government, you know, governments have things to hide. We don't know what goes on in their science labs. This is one person's take on what it might be like, and it could well be something like this. I thought the characters were really good. I liked them all. They were all brilliant. I liked the chemist, the girl, who goes by the name of Alexa most of the time, but it turns out her name is Julianne. Um, Daniel seems like, seems like a lovely guy who's just quite happy doing his thing and he gets roped into this... You've got to feel sorry for him because he gets roped into this thing. There is romance with, between her and Daniel, um, but it's done in such a way that it doesn't overtake the plot. It doesn't overshadow the actual story. And I find sometimes with these thrillers that all the action stops so that they can have romance and sex, which is stupid because, you know, you're on the run. You might have a few minutes together, but, you know, it's not going to stop for days just for you to have sex and kiss and romance. So although their lives are in danger and they're on the run, they still find, like, grabbed moments where they realise that they're falling in love and spend the night together. But it's done in such a way that it doesn't 
but like I said, it doesn't overshadow the plot. It works perfectly. It flows like it would in real life. That's how it feels. It's like, it's part of their story, but it's not the whole of the story. And I do find that a lot of the time with some thrillers, is they, they go into great depth of the, these two characters suddenly coming together, they've known each other five minutes and they're suddenly having sex. And while I'm sure that might happen in that sort of situation, we don't need it, you know, it's described completely. Stephanie May doesn't describe it like that. It's, it's something that happens as part of the story, but it is not the whole story. And, and that's what I liked about it. I really, really enjoyed it. So if you are in for, up for a thriller and you don't know what to get, don't let the name Stephanie Mayer put you off. Don't let that put you off. Ignore that. It's brilliant. I mean, I was in two minds, I'll admit, of picking it up because of the Twilight thing. Because she wrote Twilight. Um, and some people love Twilight and fair play to them and some people don't. I've not read it so I can't really pass comment. I didn't think much of the film. Maybe I would like the books more, I don't know. But I, I must admit I nearly didn't pick it up because of that. So if you're wary of picking this up because it's by Stephanie Meyer who wrote Twilight, don't. Throw that preconceived idea about her writing out of the window and pick it up if you like a good thriller. It's fantastic. The science makes sense. The story makes sense. The characters work really well. Absolutely fantastic. It's a five out of five book. Go and get it. It's a, it is a, I can't recommend this one enough. So that's my thoughts on The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. If you've read it, let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? If you didn't, why didn't you let me know? Uh, maybe there's something I missed that you picked up on that might make me think, oh, yeah, maybe not. But I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah. The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Go get it. So that is uh, the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go and take some cough sweets now. I'm going to have some honey and lemon strepsils because my throat's going again and I will be back soon with some more bookish videos. I hope you're having a great time booktube and I'll see you soon. Bye!